Hi there, it's Kevin with the Rogue Market here with this week's episode of the Rogue Roundup, where I give my favorite picks for Legacy, Modern, Oathbreaker, Commander, and Standard for cards that I think are going to go up. This week, let's start off with Standard, and I have picked Finale of Glory. The reason why I picked this card is it's starting to see a few copies in the Bant Manipulation decks, as well as in the sideboard of Esper Control. I think this is a good sign going forward. If the Esper Controls are using this as a switcheroo finisher, that means that it probably will go up in value alone because Esper Control is the most played deck right now in Standard. And Bant Manipulation also is starting to have more and more of a share. And the thing I like about Bant Manipulation is basically nothing rotates post-rotation for the deck to survive. Same thing can be said for Esper Control. They do lose to Fairy, but they have plenty of other options that they can use as the finisher, including Finale of Glory in that deck. So currently I like the price. It's around $2 for the TC market price. And the best buy list is about a buck 25. So I think you should target these around the dollar 50. And I think this is a quick double up or triple up if this does seem more play post rotation as the power level is definitely there for this card. Moving on to Oathbreaker, I've chosen Prophet of Crufix. This is another card that is banned in Commander, but is perfectly legal in Oathbreaker. In fact, it she's, she's playing about 40% of the decks that can include it. That means anything with the Simic colors use Prophet of Crufix. It was such a powerful card in Commander, it was led to be banned, but I think the power level is just right for Oathbreaker. Oathbreaker seems to be a lot quicker than Commander, so a five mana card that untaps your creatures and lands on other people's turn, I don't think is overpowered when a lot of other decks are trying to finish the game on turn four or turn five. So Prophet of Crufix is currently going for about 75 cents. And what I like most about this card is the spread. They're, the best buy list is 50 cents and the market price is 75 cents. So this means there's a lot of activity for this card. I expect this card to be going up shortly, even though the growth rate has been flat for years and years. This just hasn't had a home. And now with Oathbreaker, this is the perfect home for Prophet of Crufix to go back up. Moving on to Legacy. Legacy, I've chosen a card that has actually been going up for quite a while. This is Green Sun Zenith. This is mainly due to Elf Ball and Bant Leovold. Both of these have pretty positive matchups versus Delver and Miracles, and both Delver and Miracles seem to be taking over Legacy, so the Leovold decks and the Elf Ball decks are here to combat that particular menace. So currently the Green Sun Zenith is going for about $10, the best buy list price around seven. So I think targeting these around $7.50 is smart. Like I said, this card has been going up for the last few months quite aggressively. So I think it's gonna be rising faster than that within a few short months. This is one of those perfect specs, specs to park your money, meaning that it's something you can safely know that it's gonna be going up until it gets reprinted again. This also sees a ton of play in both Commander and Oathbreak and I want to emphasize that this card sees a ton of play in Oathbreaker. A lot of Elf Ball decks or just any creature-based deck, combo-based decks in Oathbreaker. This is also a signature spell for many Oathbreaker decks. Uh, so I think that should add to the demand of this card and subsequently, subsequently should be going up in value shortly. Let's move on to Modern, and I have chosen Damping Sphere. Now, I typically don't like Uncommons, especially out of a set like Dominaria, but Dominaria is a set that doesn't have any supply left. Boxes are about $150 a box, so that means that there isn't booster boxes just lying around for people to crack. This is also gonna be rotating out of standard, so the, again, there won't be people drafting the set in the, in the anytime soon. So Damping Sphere, I think, has hit its low at the 75 cent mark. It's about a dollar to uh, 75 cents. I think you should start being aggressive with these cards. It is here to stay in modern. Most decks are running a two of in the sideboard to combat Dark Light Phoenix decks, the Storm decks, the Tron decks, and any sort of big mana decks. So I expect this just to be a slow, steady rise. It's been flat for months now. It's 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 gone down to now the low that I, I foresee this. The only thing that's going to stop this from increasing in value is going to be a reprint. I don't know if there are like standards need this particular card in standard. This was mainly printed for modern, so I don't see a reprint anytime soon. That leaves the best spec this week to Commander, and I've chosen Bonus Round. This is another Kaikar Winds Fury spec. This card has been going up like crazy in the past couple weeks, and I expect that to continue. I even think it will go up even quicker than it has been going. This is another Battle Bond Rare, so the sky is the limit for this set. I under at I overestimated the supply of the set and underestimated the demand of cards from Battle Bond. And I think this is going to be another one that settles in the $6 to $8 mark by the time that the Kaikar decks have settled. 
And the thing I like about Bonus Round, it does see a quite a bit of play in many other commander decks like Nimazet or Melek or the Adelies, the Cinderwind. So these are going to continue to outstretch the supply. And I'm assuming the Bonus Round is going to continue to go up, 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 up until it does get a reprint. I hope you enjoyed this list of cards from this week's episode of the Rogue Roundup. Be sure to check back next week. Or if you're a fan of this type of financial content, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. What are your five cards you're going to be investing in? Be sure to check out my other channel over at roguedeckbuilder.com for our weekly Market Monday episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>